Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Vibing After Dark underscore with Mo. And if you're new to my channel, how about hit that subscribe button? And if you're a returning subscriber, how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us? And please, 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 please make sure y'all like this video. That helps out a lot and thanks in advance. Alright guys, so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be talking about Krishan and Krishan Porter being talked about all over the internet. After recent pictures and videos went viral, you got Krishan's sister Terrain not here for it. So she had quite a bit of things to say. You had Carlissa speaking on the situation, then throwing in a towel, and she says she's over it. Then we have Dre allegedly on the run. Then you have Smiley not here for Carlissa at all. Her and Carlissa had a talk over the phone. Then we're going to be talking about Chastity getting exposed for allegedly telling Krishan Porter's business. And last but not least, Krishan's mother is with Terrain. Okay, but before we get into the video, I want to plug myself in. If y'all had not followed and subscribed to my other channel, Hey It's Mo, please do so if y'all into like DIY things like that in regular conversations. This only says I have two videos up, but I promise y'all I will be uploading another video right after this one or sometime in the morning. Life be life and your girl be trying to do everything at once, but I will be uploading on that channel. But anyway, you guys, let's jump straight into the video. So this picture was uploaded and it was Krishan and Krishan Porter seen at church. And also like the photo she'd been posting of her and baby Krishan lately was going viral. And a lot of people had a lot of things to say about him having a disability, him not growing, things like that. So Carlissa went live and I actually posted on my last video talking about them. And in my opinion, she really wasn't speaking bad on Krishan Porter. She was just answering a lot of the questions that people had in the comment section on her live. And she was basically saying what she always said, if something is really wrong with him, she's going to accept him and, you know, do what she do. She did do a little jokey joke about it, but I feel like she don't mean no harm talking about it. But a lot of people was going in on her and saying a lot of mean things. So let me let y'all listen to the part that a lot of people was bothered by. Understand what I'm going through over here about learning and hearing y'all speak these diagnoses over the grandbaby. Y'all say this, y'all say that. This is my first time ever seeing anything like that in my life. And although I will continue to pray, I will not wish nothing bad on her. I don't hate her that, that's, that this is what it is. I, I don't have that in my spirit to do. Am I angry? Am I hurt? Absolutely. Wouldn't you be? If you just saw your grandbaby and people are saying all these things and the whole time we all, okay, maybe it is, maybe it ain't, we not sure. And okay, you have to accept it. That's what, that's how it's gonna come out. That's what it is. I would have liked to, uh, whatever, whatever the case may be. I'm tired of hearing everything from y'all. I'm tired of y'all judging how I perceive it, how we perceive it. We doing the best we can with a situation that we did not know was gonna be in our life. We doing the best we can, okay? And the mere fact that we haven't turned cold or hardened our hearts or become evil is the grace. So that's what she said. And y'all let me know what y'all feel about what she said. But Tareen was not here for it. So she posted a long post and shout out to Hot Tea Hot Chocolate for catching what she posted. So Tareen said, so sad, disrespectful and disheartening. He got the internet in a frenzy, both negative and positive. Guess that's how the thing works. Attention seeking battery in your back, fully powered up. Cray Cray, his biological granny really hanging on the hate train with everything left of her just while absolutely pathetic and diabolical totally unacceptable no weapon in every tongue so let it be you understand a far-fetched reach like what's the game woe until you speaking along with all the opposition as if you have an actual position in his life or even know him you slightly know of him for these very reasons your unorthodox Way of showing your love and compassion. Shame on you. Clout sprinter. All for a viral minute. Get your mind right. Bless a you. Fake news. Follow up. Just terrible. So she said that. Then she went on her Instagram and she posted this right before going live. Uh, my flesh is really wanting to choose violence so bad. Um, you know, consequences are pending. But, you know, today is definitely a good day to have a good day on purpose. Like, you got to intentionally have a good day. This is the day that the Lord has made. So, let's be rejoiced and be glad in it. 
can serve our purpose. Because the enemy try to come and steal our peace and rob us of that which he can rob us of. You know what I'm saying? And detour our purpose in this day. We only get these 24 hours. It's, it's the only thing that's ours. You know, like my uh, profile say, what my pastor is saying is, uh, yesterday is in a tumor time. Tomorrow is in a womb time. But today is only ours. So, on this day, we're going to have a good day. And we're going to be a blessing. So, we bless enemies, ops, lovers, and friends. So, y'all heard what she said. And she captioned it. And she said, the consequences is pending. So, she's speaking on Carlissa. Then she also went live to address, like, anybody who's speaking on Krishan. Porter. Like what? Combo. None of y'all know him. Combo so why are y'all even mentioning him? Oh no, her shoes. Now y'all didn't even get a chance to really see him. If you did, you got a glimpse. We saw a picture that's floating around on Instagram. Other than that, it's like you don't know him. Stop speaking on him. And I'm glad, like, it's not true. Like, all the stuff they saying about the baby being blind or the baby having these conditions. I'm so glad none of that stuff is true. Because it's weird, but that's an encouragement. And I was telling Krishan that when she was locked up, I'm like, yo, they were saying the baby was in the system. They were saying the types of stuff the whole time. The baby was good. But us, safe, sound, taking care of, getting loved on. What got me is that they kept saying you feel me? Making baby. all his doctor's and never appointments. To all me. of that. So it's like... Yeah, they be I was like, yo, this is an encouragement that the internet is just straight fraud. They can really say what they want and go viral with it. And it, it, it and it's put out there like it's a fact. So for me, it was like an encouragement at the same time of being an irritation. But the, it was more so of an encouragement than an irritation. But now to see the stuff constantly going on, you're like, oh, yeah, this is why I don't think it's cool to bring nobody around. You feel me? If you're not solidly activated with this person, even if you activate with the person, I don't think it's cool to bring them around because... Everything become a clout thing. That's just like what I was saying about um Carlissa. Like, she's a clout sprinter. Forget a clout chaser. You feel me? A clout chaser chasing. Yeah. A clout sprinter. She be gunning for. Okay, so not only was she not here for Carlissa, y'all know Smiley be on Carlissa neck. So she was on TikTok trolling Carlissa bad. And then she finally started calling different numbers until she reached Carlissa. And Carlissa finally picked up. So they had a conversation. And this is how it went. Internet playing with me about a baby that they ain't never ever gonna have nothing to do with. You can't give them no blood, no kidney, nothing that I can. You can't <laughs> give them no transfusion. You can't do shit I can do. So why are I'm speaking in general that baby? I just don't really like how you are. You didn't even have to come at me like that. You could have just came at me like Taffy. Like, you good? You coming at me like a fan. Come at me like you love her. Because right now you're not coming at me or talking to me on the internet like you love her. Them and that's the thing. That's why I am calling because I do love her. Well, then if you love her, then you call with respect. I'm his grandmother. Do you know that I'm Okay, that don't mean nothing. Something don't go right. Blood don't make you family. What are you talking about? Baby, let's. You want me to bring up everything you've said about everybody? What you think we gonna forget? We gonna forget what you said? It don't matter if you forget. It don't matter what you remember. Okay. I'm gonna call her. Can I go off on your baby grandma? That's what she should have said. Is it cool for me to touch your baby grandma out right now? And if she would have told you yes. So then Carlissa posted on her Instagram story and she's basically over it. She said, I denounce all my rights. I want nothing else to do with any of this. May God bless y'all's family as much as he has blessed ours. Peace be with y'all. I'm done. And my own child too, if this the right he choose to go. Then she said, please don't send me nothing. They said, y'all know D well. I haven't diagnosed no baby. I haven't even seen him in life but two times. I'm responding based on what y'all send and what I see. I want nothing else to do with them, period. Don't send me nothing else. Thanks. And I agree. I don't feel like she ever really diagnosed him with anything. It was just, like I said, she was just talking to the people in the comment section and saying what they said versus what she see. But she still never said he had anything. She said if it were to be something. Okay, so Chastity, y'all, is out here being exposed and blamed for Krishan business being told by 
her baby daddy, which is ex trauma, the one that got unalived by the police. His friend, he goes by crime infested quail. He posted on his Instagram, this hating a girl went through all these Instagrams. You got that much hate in your heart. You're broke a got too much time on your hands, boo. Can't stop me. Everybody going to stop effing with you. And Krishan, let me know you a thief. You try to get her robbing Kelly because she wouldn't buy you weed. You run your mouth about Junior, how me, my baby mother, cousins, friends, and fans know Krishan Junior is blind and the other stuff, the main issue with him that I won't speak on, but you shysty. I see why your life messed up. You're going to forever be chasing that girl using fans for rides and money. You need to give that girl her kid clothes out that storage on Moravia. But anyway, YouTube coming soon. I'm exposing the truth. Anything y'all want to know going to be on there. So y'all, this is somebody else coming out exposing chastity. So I want y'all to take a listen at this audio. And this is basically the dude and Krishan daddy speaking on chastity doing Krishan wrong. That's how we to chase Krishan chastity. Krishan me and Krishan out there we pull out. You chasing that. Man. Chris Jealousy is a motherfucker. What, 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 if I, what? Like, you're not even gaining nothing from Krishan. What am I going to gain? You ain't getting nothing from Krishan. That's no why they because stealing. She, she ain't even understand what she did. She and she stole her. She did Krishan wrong. He's she been doing her wrong. wrong. When they was down there in Cali, they tried to send somebody there to rob that girl. How did she find out about that? And how is you telling people Krishan's daughter could be in certain conditions? Like, you think this got you? But my thing is... Sis, you my sister. I'm doing for you on a strip of trauma. Everything right. trauma can't do, I'm doing it. Right. So I guess a lot of people was giving him backlash for it all. And so he came back and he cleared up Krishan Daddy's Shice. name. First of all, Shice. that man never spoke on that baby, nor did I. Nobody never spoke on the baby. Only thing I said was, she chastity, chastity, how do you mother Baltimore that don't know Krishan at all, know what's going on with her child. All the conditions and all that. My problem was with Chastity, not oh, Krishan, like not problem. everybody she trying to add shit. No, I did everything I did because you're not about to keep getting all my Instagrams taken away from me. Like, let me tell you shit, like, not about to. So then Chastity came out and posted on Instagram and she said, if Chastity do anything, yes, I will post it. Sorry, but not sorry. And the only reason I didn't post what that guy said are because no evidence. If a family member said it, I'm posting it point blank, but don't put words in my mouth that I didn't speak. So yeah, Krishan haven't came out and said anything about nothing since all of this was going on about baby Krishan. At this point, I don't know if she believe it, don't believe it, or don't even just know who to trust, period. Okay, so now let's move on to Carlissa. Carlissa is asking for prayers because she's going through it, or at least Andre is going through it. So she posted on her Instagram and she said, when I put my prayer sisters on the main line, Jesus be like, she know exactly the way to my heart. Y'all better get some of these. Never met half of them in person, but baby, he don't never tell them no. And they ain't never told me no. So these are people that on her Instagram and they are her prayer warriors, I'm assuming. And this was one of them. And Carlissa said, we sinking again, please pray. And the lady said, Lord Jesus, hopefully they can prove he's mentally unstable or something. Lord, he doesn't need to go back to jail. We plead the blood of Jesus over Andre and Jonathan. And we pray against that generational curse that's trying to stay attached to their lives. And that you open their eyes, Lord, to see the devil is after their purpose. And they have to break this curse over their lives so that their beautiful sons will live free as well. In Jesus name, amen. And Carlissa said, let the church say amen. So as y'all can see, this is the paperwork for an at-large complaint request because it says on July 27, 2023, the victim placed her firearm on her bedroom dresser and then invited her ex-boyfriend Harvey to the residence. No one else was at the residence. The victim left Harvey alone at the residence while she shopped for groceries. When the victim returned, the firearm was stolen and Harvey was no longer at the residence. The victim checked her cameras and no one else was at the residence when she was gone and there were no signs of forced entry. So as you can see, this happened like almost a whole year ago, November 16th, 2023. 
And as you can see, it was filed on June 12, 2024. And it said possession of violent felon, grand theft of firearm. And if you notice, Andre was not on social media anymore. Like I wasn't talking about him. Nobody else was talking about him. So he must be on the run and hiding out. So the people in the comments was like, remember he stole Marsh money? Do y'all remember when Jaden's friend said Dre robbed her friend at Blakey Point? So you can just accuse someone without proof and a warrant is issued? So somebody said, wait, wait, wait. This drama happened in July 2023 and they executed it late as F in November 2023 and only filed it in June 2024. Make this make sense? I don't know. I feel bad for Dre. It's like nobody cares. Jaden, the only one not clout chasing, all the Rock family and Blue fam are H weird. All right, you guys, so the last thing I want to get into is Krishan's mother. I know on the last video I post of them, the kids was recording her being in McDonald's acting, you know, a fool, crazy, or playing with them, whatever you want to call it. And she got evicted, so people was wondering and if she was okay. And come to find out, she is with Terrain. So Terrain had kept Krishan, baby Krishan, while mother Krishan was locked up. And now she's the one caring for her mother. Chastity used to always show that she had the mother, but uh, Chastity seemed like she's moving up in life because she's doing different things. But now Terrain have her. And on this video, you could tell she's trying to, you know, gain more patience with her because... For somebody that who's abusing drugs and things like that, they always seem to be overly hyper and doing the most. And you can tell in this video, the mama was doing the most, but she seemed like she was getting a little irritated, but she didn't want to show it. So she trying to gain patience. And shout out to Rev One and Gossip for catching this live. Y'all let me see. Oh, you let me see. I like that you want me to see. You is the one, Terrain. God told me to tell you. Can I have one of these? Just one? No, mom. Oh, I'm okay. down. No, I get mine. Oh, yeah. I was just saying good morning. Come on here. Have a nice day. <laughs> Happy day, day. Mom, it's not, I said have a nice day. Oh, have a nice day. Have a blessed day. The power is in the tongue. Yeah, it's all right. I can't find my bag. Her consequences are pending. Bless you. Her consequences are going to be great. Those are pending now. <laughs> you know, God keep telling me, vengeance is mine, say the Lord. I, I shall repay. It's real. He ain't a man. He not going to lie. Go handle that. We don't never die. I would just love the opportunity. I do too. I would love when that guy snatched my $80 back. Shut it all the way down. And that's when he spiked me. I took my $80 back. But, um, back. yeah, all right. No negativity. Y'all yeah, have a good day. Stop saying that. Oh, that's what y'all talking about. Hmm? Look at the pretty. Unit 172. I'm gonna let that lady over there. It's a, it's a hair salon. You ready? Yeah, baby. Over there. The, the one that got All right. Are you on the phone? What is this stuff? I love you, baby. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Who you talking to? I want to see your picture. Yes, it is. It's amazing. It's, a, it's definitely awesome to know that God got the final say. Yeah. She's in. <laughs> God revealed that too. Uh, yeah. Right but on. yeah, the prayer. If y'all didn't um, finish watching the video, you can uh, re uh, fast forward it. Um, I prayed at the end of that, that live. That's why I posted it. Um, I prayed at the end of it. I'm mad I didn't get to tag all of the um, members who have a business or whatever. But. Um, we definitely got a lot going on at United Run for Christ Church and Living God. So, yeah. But, yeah. all right, y'all about to get off here. I got things to take care of. Y'all have a blessed day. Be a blessing. Be an inspiration. Be the light. Show love. All right, y'all. So, that's all I have for y'all in this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it all in the comment section below. I do comment back. And I catch you guys in the next video. Bye.